Every month, we speak with 60 to 70 property management companies to consult them on their marketing. We see tons of mistakes that property management companies make when it comes to their marketing. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the top 10 mistakes we see property management companies make. The first mistake is relying on just one source for leads. You can't do that if you want to aggressively grow your business. If you're relying solely on referrals, for example, there's no way to scale that to help you guys grow at a calculated pace. You don't know when a referral is going to come through and therefore you're kind of sitting there hoping that you get referrals the coming month if you're going to grow. The second big mistake we see companies make is thinking content is king. We hear this all the time, content is king. Well, content is king if you know how to use it properly. If you go on your website and just create a ton of different blog articles, that doesn't mean anyone's going to find that content. You have to A, produce the content, and then B, make sure that that content gets exposure. When it comes to your website, that means you need to optimize that content for search engines. If we're talking about YouTube, you need to make sure to optimize that YouTube video for the YouTube algorithm. Whatever it might be, you can't just produce a ton of content and think things will work out. You need to make sure that that content has legs behind it and that you're giving it the best chance to get as much exposure as possible. Third biggest mistake we see, failing to use specialists. A lot of companies will hire one person for their marketing and think that that one person can do the marketing for the entire company. Unfortunately, that's not really the way it works. Just because you have a degree in marketing doesn't mean you know how to do every type of marketing. Now, it's a good idea to have somebody in-house if your company can afford it that can look over all of the marketing channels and be kind of like the guiding eyes behind them but you generally need to hire specialists for a particular marketing type. For example, search engine optimization. That's not something that general marketist usually knows how to do effectively. So usually you're gonna be much better off going to somewhere where you can find an SEO specialist. Same thing when it comes to YouTube SEO. Generally, most marketers are not gonna know how to do YouTube SEO. You need to go to a specialist to figure out how to optimize your videos to get them as much exposure as possible on YouTube. Mistake number four, and this is a big one, not knowing your numbers. You would never invest in a rental property without knowing your numbers. So why would you invest in marketing without knowing your numbers? Before you invest in any marketing campaign, you need to know how much a client is worth to your business so that you can know how much you can afford to spend to go out and acquire a client. Mistake number five, marketing after it's too late. A lot of companies will come to us and they'll say, you know, we need to uh, bring in 50 leads in the next two months or else we're not gonna meet our targets. Well, the truth is, marketing doesn't happen instantaneously. You need to plan in advance. If things are really good right now and you're bringing in tons of leads, that doesn't mean that things are gonna be good in a year from now or two years from now. You need to make sure that you have multiple marketing channels going so that in a year from now, if your lead sources right now dry up, you have other lead sources that are gonna be bringing in leads. Not all marketing channels are going to work as well at every single point in the market cycle. And because of that, you need to have multiple marketing channels so that no matter what point it is in the real estate cycle, your company can consistently be bringing in property management leads. Mistake number six is thinking doing good work is enough. We hear time and time again, someone's like, I'm just gonna do really good work for my clients and that thing should work out. People should start to reach out to my company. Unfortunately, doing good work is only half the battle. If nobody knows you're doing good work, no one's going to reach out to your business. So you can't just sit there and say, I'm gonna just provide a really good service and things will work out. Unfortunately, that's not the case if you actually want to grow your business. Mistake number seven is doing what everyone else in your market is already doing. For example, everyone else in your website has a specific templated website and you go out and get the exact same one. That's not gonna help your property management company stand out from the rest. If I'm somebody that is looking to hire a property management company and I go online, and everyone's website looks exactly the same, how am I really gonna be able to figure out which one I wanna reach out to? It's gonna be tough, right? You're basically gonna be flipping a coin. What you wanna make sure of is that your property management company stands out in your market. Don't do everything that your competitor is doing and just copy it. Put your own unique taste and feel on your business. Make sure that your company stands out from your competitors in your local market so that a rental property owner out there 
is enticed to actually reach out to your company. The eighth mistake that we see companies make all the time is relying solely on old school traditional methods. We have companies that come to us and they're solely advertising in their local newspaper. It's 2023. Unfortunately, old school methods don't work as well as they used to. You need to adapt with the times. You need to make sure that your company is front and center where most people are interacting and that comes down to being on the internet. You need to make sure your company is being marketed online as well as offline so that you don't fall behind the times and your property management company becomes a thing of the past. The ninth mistake we see property management companies make all the time is not investing in high quality photos. For your rental listings, you, you generally invest in a professional photographer to take pictures of your rental listings. That's super important if you wanna get good feedback on the listings that you put up there. Now what you need to make sure of as well is you invest in good quality photos for your company's website for your company's social media so that you guys can stand out from your competitors. If you have really good quality photos on your website, it's gonna make your website look that much better. So don't cheap out when it comes to the photos of your website. It's usually a one-time fee you're gonna pay. You're gonna invest in some really high quality photos and you're gonna be able to use those photos for the next decade. Now, the 10th mistake that we see property management companies make is having a really poor quality about us page on their website. On 99% of property management companies, your About Us page is one of the top five most visited pages on your website. Because of that, it's really important that you have a really high quality About Us page. Now, if you think of a rental property owner that's out there trying to search for a property management company, in their mindset, this is likely the largest asset that they own. And they're trying to figure out who can I reach out to that can manage this asset on my behalf. A lot of the time, they're gonna go to your About Us page to try and find more information about your company and who they're gonna actually be dealing with. If you have a page that just has a bit of white, or let's say a white background with black text, and there's nothing that really lets them get a personal feel for what your company is like, it's not gonna help your odds. What you wanna do is have good quality photos of at least the uh, management of your company, have a welcome video on that About Us page, and then have written content about who they're actually gonna be working with and who the people behind the business are. If you can fix that, it's gonna help increase the amount of people that reach out to you because they're gonna feel like they already know your company a little bit more than you know they would have if you didn't have anything on your About Us page describing who your company actually is. So those are the top 10 marketing mistakes we see with property management companies. They're all easily fixable. I suggest going out, analyzing your business and seeing where you stand on those, top, on those 10 mistakes and then implementing something to fix those. If you like this video and you're looking to grow your property management company, check out our website at upkeepmedia.com growth and sign up for a free growth marketing session. During that growth marketing session, we're gonna show you our blueprint for helping property management companies grow. We're gonna take you through what your competitors are doing to bring on new properties to manage, and then we'll give you recommendations you can walk away with to grow your business regardless of whether or not our company is the right fit for you. So if you like this video, please give us a, a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. And also be sure to check out some of our related videos about how to generate property management leads. Thanks, see you soon.